A U.S. citizen was in for a bit more than he bargained after traveling to the Middle East and joining terrorists in hopes of killing American soldiers Too bad for him, things quickly backfired and a judge just delivered a nasty gift for the extremist on his return home Although ISIS is finding themselves on the run these days, that hasn't always been the case Former President Barack Obama's foreign policy was directly responsible for the terrorist organization's rise to power since, when you rip our troops out of a destabilized area for political gain, something has to fill the void Sadly, that something was ISIS, and Obama only made it worse by trying to ignore the problem until he left office While he did virtually nothing to stop the terrorist group, people died by the thousands with an entire region of the world embroiled in chaos Fortunately, Obama's time came to an end and President Donald Trump was elected to solve the problem that his predecessor created President Trump got to work and just a few months later, ISIS was nearly defeated and on the run Unfortunately, ISIS wasn't the only organization that was flourishing under Obama's reign as Al-Qaeda made a bit of a comeback while everyone was focused on ISIS The effect of Obama's neglect influenced more than just the Middle East as the toxic reality that is Islamic extremism poured over into America and many Americans were drawn in by Islamic extremist propaganda from these terrorist groups Proving just that was a 32-year-old American citizen by the name of Muhannad Muhammad Al-Farik This guy is about as bad as they come Despite being a U.S. citizen from Houston, Texas, this man became radicalized and traveled to the Middle East to kill American soldiers Teaming up with Al-Qaeda, it wasn't long before he had risen in rank and even took up a leadership role in the terrorist organization, but it only gets worse from there, of course, once the military knew who they were dealing with, they passed it up the chain of command Although an assassination was considered, Obama's administration eventually decided that a capture and civilian prosecution would be more appropriate Able to successfully secure Farrakh, things got even worse for the Muslim extremists just a few months later A judge had a nasty surprise for the Muslim man after he came home to the United States According to each review, a federal judge sentenced 32-year-old Muhannad Muhammad al farrakh to 45 years in prison for engaging in terrorist conduct and conspiring to carry out terrorist acts In short, this guy is going to spend the rest of his miserable life, or, at least, most of it, locked in a cage like the animal he is Fortunately, justice was served, and it doesn't appear that this punk was able to kill any Americans as he had set out to do, but he came way too close, thanks to Obama's abysmal foreign policy, and that's downright unacceptable